Hola peeps, happy weekend. Um, had a little bit of a party going on last night, but we made it home early. I feel great this morning. Oscar, on the other hand, did not feel really good this morning. So yeah, it's five o'clock. Um, I'm doing this right before we head out to dinner because uh, tomorrow I want to do another recipe and I don't want to be all clustered and crazy because I have 20 million things going on. So very quickly, we're gonna go over the frijoles negro, which are black beans. Um, black beans are always a side dish in my house, probably like two or three times a week. Um, sometimes I don't make them, sometimes my mother-in-law sends them to me or my dad makes them. Uh, when I make them, I just make the simple recipe, you know, uh, the sofrito with the, the lacon or the hogs, the hogs feet. I don't have that today, so I just use smoked bacon whenever I don't have it. Uh, smoked bacon just gives a little extra fat taste in there a little bit of salt as well so if you don't have the hogs foot or the lacon or whatever you use in there you can also use uh, some smoked bacon Oscar Mayer that's what I use I know it's not so oh my god Cuban but it's all right because it tastes just as good so first things first we want to go ahead and put our instant pot on saute and for the sake of going through this video fast, I've already uh, cut out my green peppers, my onions, my bacon. Um, if you wanna talk about sizing as far as the cumin, I did, uh, uh, I chopped up four, I minced up four or six uh, garlic cloves. I did uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste, as well as two and a half or two, two teaspoons of cumin, uh, what else? Make sure you have bay leaf, at least one. Uh, so I think that's that's all you really need, really. And some olive oil and then salt at the very end to taste. So I'm heating up my Instant Pot right now. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, olive oil, extra virgin, just to coat the bottom of the pot. And once that starts to make its little spackle noise, we're gonna go ahead and add the onions, the green peppers, and the bacon. I got three strips of bacon and I cut them like in an inch size basically. And then the onions and the peppers are also cut really big and rough because it dissolves. There's gonna be so much water there that it'll dissolve quickly. So I'm gonna toss all three of those in there. Onions, green peppers, and the bacon, smoked bacon. And you can get the smoked bacon anywhere, like uh, the market or whatever you want. So, oh, look who just got here in the middle of my video. My husband just got here. Did, did she send tocino? Ah, oh. so my mother-in-law sent tocino because I didn't have some, but too late because I already put the bacon in there. Next time. So we're gonna saute the onions, the green peppers, and the bacon or the tocino. All together until about five minutes. All right, now that this has been sauteing for a good five minutes, let me show you what it looks like in there. Wish I could show you what it smells like. This is awesome. Let's see if I can get the camera. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see what's in there. Oh. Okay, now that that's sauteing, been sauteing that the onions and the green pepper a little translucent i'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato paste my garlic and my cumin and i did two tablespoons of tomato paste uh two teaspoons of cumin and four to six garlic cloves minced so i'm gonna add that in there mix it all around and saute that for another one or two minutes. Meanwhile, you could saute and you can actually go ahead and start cleaning your beans out. You can do it prior. That's what I did before this recipe. Cleaned out my beans, took out any of the bad beans or the little rocks that they come with. All right, once you added all your sofrito and your ingredients, go ahead and add your little bay leaf in there. I want to see what's going on in here. Yeah. And you're gonna add beans, one pound of beans, 
and eight cups of water. Eight cups of water. Make sure there's plenty of liquid in there. It should be, um, if you have, actually it's reading right here. So if you have the eight quart like me, it's at uh, about half an inch under the half mark. I think that's about eight cups, two quarts, right? No, yeah, eight cups and two quarts. So two quarts of water. So it should be looking like this. So at this moment, we're gonna go ahead and press cancel on your Instant Pot. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna pressure cook for 25 minutes. Make sure the steam vent is set to back. To go ahead and um, to sealed. So that's always towards the back. Give it a few minutes to build pressure. Once it starts, the pressure is fully set. You're gonna go ahead, it's gonna count down from 25. And then once it beeps, you're gonna give it 10 extra minutes. We're gonna do a natural release of 10 extra minutes. So it should say L010 when it's done. L is in Larry. Once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and take out all the steam, open it up. Once your steam is all out, you're gonna go ahead and open up your Instant Pot. And what I want you to do is take out a few of the, the beans and put them in a bowl and with a fork, just mash it all up. Basically, that's gonna give your beans more of a consistency, a heavier, thicker sauce versus a liquidy sauce, depending on what you like. So if you do want a thicker sauce, take out like maybe three quarters of a, of a cup of beans or just like a three, like to dig some, put them in a bowl, grab a fork and mash it and then just toss it back in there, mix it around, saute it for another five minutes, and go ahead and taste the beans, and add a little bit of salt, depending how salty they are, or, or not salty, go little by little. Babe, you're making me nervous. I never done the videos in front of him, so. I look like Kaka in this video. Yeah, so I'll get back to you when this is all done to show you guys a quick video. All right? Guys, we have Princess Anna. Da la vuelta para que te vean tu vestido nuevo. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just got back from dinner. Uh, and I left these cooking. So they naturally released. Uh, they look delicious. Let me show you what they look like. Okay. So see how it's a little watery? I already took out some beans in here. They're ready to go. And I'm just gonna grab a fork and smash the crap out of them. Sorry for the crying. So you can just serve this on top of rice. You put this back in there, obviously. You serve it on top of rice with some maduros or whatever main, main meat you're doing. Good to go. Don't forget to add salt to taste. All right, guys. Hope you have a good Sunday and sorry. Sorry I started this so late today, but at least it's up there and it'll be on my YouTube as well. So if you ever need to go back to it, it's on my YouTube channel. All right, good night, guys.